Hey YouTube, welcome back to a brand new Animal Crossing New Horizons video. Did you know there's not a single smug birthday celebrated in January or February, or that there wasn't any smug cast in the series until Raymond was added to New Horizons? Well, if you want to learn more interesting facts like this about smug villagers, sit back, relax, and enjoy. But first, if you're excited for the video and you're still enjoying island life, be sure to leave a like, it helps out so much, and be sure to comment smug for the YouTube algorithm. <laughs> Despite being named Beardo, Beardo doesn't actually have a beard. Oh, he does have a moustache though. His Japanese name also relates to his moustache and given the Japanese language doesn't differentiate between that and a beard, this may explain his contradicting English name. Either way, it doesn't matter when you look this good doing the KK Tango. Cephalobot is a robotic cephalopod but isn't quite as unique as you may think. He's in fact one of three robotic themed villagers alongside Ribbit and Sprocket. When he joined Animal Crossing New Horizons in the 2.0 update, Cephalobot became the first smug octopus though, so there's that. Chatter looks like cheddar. That's all you need to know. Chops is a smug pig who gets his name from the term pork chops, so there's no surprise he can be seen carrying around the veggie print bag. Colton's name stems from the term cold used for a young male horse. However, Colton's noble and knightly poses seen in earlier games are said to be in reference to a knight, the horse-shaped chest piece, which may explain why Colton's catchphrase is check it. Colton is also one of three smug villagers who appear on the cover of Cafe KK. Curlos, the smug sheep villager, wasn't always smug. In fact, Curlos debuted in Animal Crossing E Plus as a cranky islander. He only became smug after returning to the franchise as an actual villager in New Leaf. He's also known for dining on the cover art of Neapolitan, which was first seen as an e-reader card. Ed is another smug horse alongside Carlton, and despite featuring in almost every Animal Crossing, he was only added to Animal Crossing Pocket Camp in 2023. Eugene's name is derived from eucalyptus and is the only smug koala in the entire game. Can you tell? Anyway, Eugene can be seen playing trumpet on the KK Scar cover art, which probably only adds to his smugness. Graham the smug hamster is a huge fan of bubblegum KK, so much so he displays the cover art in his New Horizons home, alongside the posters of both Francine and Chrissy who both feature on the cover art. Hans is the only smug gorilla villager in Animal Crossing and resembles a yeti, a somewhat mythical creature said to live amongst mountains in colder climates, which is possibly where Hans gets his name. Hans is a popular Scandinavian name, a region known for its snowy mountains. He also appears on the cover of KK Adventure. Henry is a frog villager said to be named after the character who shares his name in a fairy tale called the Frog Prince. Hippo is a smug hippo. However, since arriving in Animal Crossing Pocket Camp a couple of years ago, it's been revealed that Hippo the Hippo's real name is actually Gary. Gary the Hippo. <laughs> Weird. Huck is another smug frog, however when Huck debuted in the original N64 version of Animal Crossing, he was originally a lazy frog. Interestingly, Huck's data appears in Happy Home Designer, but he never returned to the game. Jax the bird villager resembles a real life jackdaw, which is likely the basis of his name. He's an avid DJ and DJ turntables can be found in his home in every version of Animal Crossing that Jax appears in. This is also reflected in Jax's Japanese his name Jockey. Julian is yet another smug horse, although is often a fan favourite as he features the iconic horn of a unicorn, one of the few villagers inspired by mythical creatures. Julian is the first smug villager to celebrate a birthday which doesn't take place until March 15th. Keaton is the only male eagle in the entire Animal Crossing series to not have either a jock or cranky personality. Keaton's name supposedly comes from an old English place name that means place of Hawks, however is probably better known for appearing on the cover art of KK Moody. Ken is a smug ninja chicken whose default outfit is of course the ninja costume. Ken's name is said to derive from shuriken, but could also be in reference to the last part of the word chicken. Since New Leaf, Ken has appeared in every Animal Crossing game but has yet to return to Pocky Cam. Kid debuted in Animal Crossing E Plus as an islander, however was removed from the series until he returned in Animal Crossing New Leaf. 
Clarus is heavily influenced by ancient Greece and its Chinese name literally means bear warrior, which is more in line with his appearance from earlier games. He's the second smug villager to appear on the cover art of Cafe KK. Kyle is literally a lone wolf in that he's the only male wolf who does not have a cranky personality. However, he does feature on Cafe KK alongside Klaus and Colton, so he's not that lonely. Leopold is a smug lion who, according to the lore from his e-reader card, aspires to be a teacher. When Leopold debuted in the original Animal Crossing, he was originally a jog. However, after being absent from Wild World and City Folk, returned as smug. Lionel, another smug lion, is said to have gotten his name from his species. In Pocket Cap, his rumored white isn't his natural hair color. Lopez is named after antelopes, but specifically resembles a gazelle. Lopez is better known for featuring on the cover of KK Fusion. Lucia is a reference to Lucia Libra, which is a type of freestyle wrestling. Furthermore, he appears to be wearing a wrestling mask. Lucia is also one of a very few villagers shown not to be wearing clothes in the New Horizons poster. Marshall is possibly the most popular smug villager amongst the community. He features as part of many crossovers outside of New Horizons, including Mario Kart 8, and more recently a WarioWare Get It Together minigame, which only helps his popularity. O'Hare is a smug rabbit, or possibly hare, and is the first former islander from the original Animal Crossing that still wears the Aloha tee as his default outfit despite no longer being an actual islander. Olaf is the only smug anteater in the Animal Crossing series, although according to New Leaf Lure, he has an older twin. Phil the ostrich is heavily inspired by the pheasants found in Japan, including his Japanese name and catchphrase. Phil also features on the cover art of KK John Gara, which is a track in the style of Japanese folk music. Pietro the smug sheep is literally a clown, and his catchphrase is honk honk, a sound often associated with clowns. Quilson is a duck whose name comes from the feather of a duck. He's the only smug duck in Animal Crossing so far. Raymond was the second smug villager to debut in Animal Crossing New Horizons, although technically arrived to Pocket Camp before the update introducing them officially released. Rodney is a hamster and has the music hobby, so can be seen singing without the need of a stereo or music. Roswell returned to New Horizons in the 2.0 update after being absent since the original. His name in various regions is inspired by aliens. <laughs> His overall design is said to mimic those of crop circles. Similar alien artifacts can also be seen in his poster. Shep gets his name from a shepherd dog, which is also reflected in his catchphrase. Apparently he lets his hair grow so he can get away with having midday naps. Shep also features on the KK Reggae cover art. Tex resembles an African penguin and his name may be a pun inspired by a tuxedo. Toby is a Sanrio crossover villager themed around the frog from the Keropi franchise and wasn't added to New Horizons until a year after launch. W Link or Wolf Link is the only smug villager in the entire franchise that hasn't returned to New Horizons yet. Zell is the second smug deer to resemble a breed of gazelle, which is also where his name is derived from. Zell is the final smug villager to feature on KK cover art, specifically KK Waltz. Now, what personality should we cover next? Let us know in the comments. As always, thank you so much to the patrons and channel members for supporting this content. And if you'd like to see every special character that never made it to New Horizons, be sure to check out this next video. Peace.